This is Jim from Better Slots, and the purpose of this video is to show you how to properly handle an IGT-044 board and how to change out the game flash board and also how to change out the uh, boot chip with your key chip so that you can change the games or settings. Uh, first thing, these boards are shock and static sensitive when you handle these boards you're always going to hold the metal parts of the board when you carry them around you do not carry them like a football you carry them like a birthday cake very delicately set down delicately always keep your hands on the metal so that you don't uh, create a static charge to the board especially the game flash board when you handle the board it's a good idea even though I'm not using one right now that you pick up an anti-static wristband they're very inexpensive to pick up on eBay it just goes around your wrist with a clip and you clip uh, to the metal part of the board and that will ground yourself to the board to help reduce the chance of a sh uh, static shock to the board so once that's accomplished uh, the, the thing that you're wanting to do is to change your game uh, to do that, the first thing you need to do is to remove the existing game flash board, which is this raised board here to the right, if the handle is faced towards you. And uh, there will probably be between three and six screws in the top of this that you should remove first. And then once that's removed, this board is plugged in along its left side. And the best way to get it out, I find, is to put my left hand at the bottom left, my right hand at the top right, and I'm going to rock it back and forth as I'm lifting with my left fingers and my right hand. I'm rocking it, basically just loosening it very slowly off the board. And once it's off, you can now see what the underside looks like. There are these two long ports and there are a number of uh, metal pins always inspect this before you put it in and before you uh, press down on the board make sure none of these pins are bent I will oftentimes before I apply power to this board I will put the board in once and then pull it out a second time to inspect the pins before I put it down again and actually put the board in the machine so now you're going to install your new game board what you do is you very lightly set, just let it rest in place aligning it the best you can look along this left side and what I do at this point is I actually just sort of vibrate and shift the board around a little bit I want to feel the sensation of all those little pins sliding into their sockets when I feel good that it has then I put my fingers along this black port on top of the flash board and I just rock the board and push it down slowly until it pushes all the way down okay so now it's all the way in and the next step is you're gonna wanna install uh, your key chip which means you're gonna remove the boot chip the best method to do this is to use a sharp pointed flathead screwdriver and I'm going to take a minute here to zoom the camera in on the chip so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, to get the chip out, what I do is I take the flathead between, basically on the bottom of the chip, but on above the black socket that it's sitting on and I just very lightly pry up. I'm not trying to pry it out completely I just want to do it a little bit on one side and then I move my screwdriver to the other side and I pry up just a little bit just till I feel it raise up and back to the other side I may repeat this four or five times until it just comes straight up and out. If you do too much on one side or the other, 
you will bend your pins and then you'll have a very hard time getting it back in. Again, it just you, you be patient with it and you don't force it out. It finally gets to the point where it just comes out. I'm now going to put in my key 28 chip. And my method for doing this is you never want to take this chip and go straight down into the socket. Instead, what I do is I, I essentially rotate the chip on a slight angle and I get one set of pins in on one side and it's easiest if it's towards the front of the board. Once I know those are in there, uh, this side is yet to go in. They're just sort of balanced there. So I'll take both my fingers and I will flex this chip while I'm looking at the pins until I feel like they're all in there. If I see down in there I have a, a pin or two that's off, sometimes it's helpful to take a flathead screwdriver, get underneath it and just flex them in the direction they need to go. And then finally they're all in. At this point before I push it all the way down I want to inspect both sides of this chip. Use a flashlight and make sure you see every single pin down in a hole. When it is, take both your thumbs and then apply pressure equally all across the chip and push it straight down all the way in. At this point, go ahead and inspect the pins again. Make sure none of them are bent or folded over. And if it looks good, uh, then you're now ready to uh, go to my next video that shows you how to uh, clear the machine.